Hi everyone, this is the first video in the basic training series um, for Onshape. So I'm not going to cover how to log in and stuff, I'll have showed you that already. But I am going to show you how to create a document and um, we will start together making some documents, uh, sorry, making some drawings, making some stuff in Onshape. And if you keep following, you'll get a handle of how to how it works and what to do. All right, so the first thing you should be looking at something that looks like this. When you click the on shape button, it will take you into your documents folder. Um, activity is kind of like a social wall. So you can see if something's shared with you, you can see if I've commented, commented on something that you've done, etc. Um, and that's basically all we need to know for now. We're gonna draw some stairs today so we're going to go up to create here create document we're going to call this one stairs and click OK and if you don't know me I'm Mr. Brown so hello nice to meet you and we're just going to load up here I'm going to get rid of this because I don't need it I've pressed F11 to full screen the browser window um, I prefer it without all the other stuff on there. So, and if you want to ever get out of it, you sort of go up and whatever, or you press F11 again. Um, it seems to work for me. All right, so we're going to draw some stairs. The first thing that we're going to do is go to our top view. So click on this, go to sketch, and then click on this top plane here. Fantastic. All right. The next thing we're going to do is get rid of these other planes. This dot in the middle is our origin point. Um, that's the middle of our drawing. It's a zero, zero point, basically. Um, we'll keep the origin point because it will come in handy, but we're going to get rid of the plane. So if you go up to the top left here and click the eyes, then that will get rid of each plane individually, or you can just press P on your keyboard and get rid of them all at once which is what I prefer to do. Um, just another quick note, a lot of people click the tick straight away. Um, don't click the tick because the tick basically says sketch finished. Like you've, it's, you're done with the sketch, you tick, it's done. Um, and the X means cancel. So if you press the X, anything that you've done will just be canceled. But while you're sketching, you'll leave that little box up. All right, it's kind of telling you that you're in sketch mode. So we're not going to press that just yet because we need to do a sketch. All right. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our menu, go to rectangle, but press this little um, arrow and go to center point rectangle. We're going to use the origin point as our center point, And we're just going to make basically a square here. You'll notice that there's a box around the number down the bottom. And if I type in my keyboard 100, it'll come up as 100 and if I type again 100 because the box has moved it'll come up as 100 all right the next thing we're going to do is go back up here click the arrow and go corner rectangle and we're going to use the origin point and the top point as our Um, as our sort of points where we're going to have of our, our square. You'll notice that it says 50 and 50. We actually don't want to do that because if we do, we get all these red lines everywhere like this. What this means is that it's been over constrained. So you've already told the sketch you want the outside of this big rectangle to be 100. Um, so you don't have to tell it from the center of the rectangle to the outside to be 50. It already knows so how you get rid of it is press escape, click on this and do that. If you want to get rid of it again, you can actually just use either hold control Z or just undo like that. Um, so basically if you're drawing, I'll draw it again, just so we can do it again. I'll draw from there to there. Um, just press escape and that's how it works. You notice with sketching that it's all 2D so if I hold right mouse button and sort of scroll around, you can see it's a 2D thing, it's not 3D. Click top. 
All right. Well, now we're going to extrude. So we're going to go back up here. We're going to finish with our sketch. Click the tick. We're going to go up, see where it says sketch. The one to the right is extrude. We're going to click this three quarters section. We're not going to do, we make sure it says new. Um, we've already kicked, clicked the face. We're going blind. We're going to make it symmetric. And we're going to come down here and we're going to go 100. Just 100. And we're going to hit enter. And it doesn't look like much, but then when we scroll around, you'll see that it's a 3D object now, not just a 2D object. And once we're finished, we click the tick. You'll notice that the um, sketch goes away too. If I ever want to bring it back, I can just click this little eye here. But I'm happy for it to be gone right now. Okay, so we've got our stairs. This is our basic stairs here. If we wanted to send this to a 3D printer, we could. Um, we just go down to part, right click, export. and wait for it to load and just save it as an STL. You can save it as whatever you want, call it stairs. Leave binary, leave STL, millimeters is what we use. Fine resolution, that'll do and okay. So on shape, we'll download it. And you can see down the bottom here, it says show in folder. So I've got my folder here and what I can do is open um, a 3D printing, um, what they call a slicing, no, go away, a slicing software. I can go load, I can go to, where would that even download to? Downloads. I can go to downloads, I can click stairs, click open, it says, this model is off the platform. Do you want to put it on the platform? Yes. You may not be using the same um, cat, like the same slicing program as I am, but they're all kind of similar. They'll usually have a rotate function, so we can come up here and rotate this thing around so it's sitting correctly. So you can see here the stairs are actually around the right way. Um, you could scale this if you wanted to. Um, you could make it smaller or whatever you want. It's going to go reset. Um, but basically what you do is you load your stuff in. So you load it. Supports are something different we'll talk about a little bit later. Print. And PLA is a material that we'll use. Supports, you can enable. We're not using support, so it doesn't matter. A raft is a little thing that goes at the bottom that kind of supports your print. Standard, there is more options. The only one to really look at here is the infill. So 15% infill hexagon pattern. You'll see that in a second. You can change the temperature and the speed, but um, we're using a printer. We use the recommended filament. So, and this is the program that feeds the printer. So I wouldn't touch any of that for now. Um, just hit okay. You want to save it stairs we save as a .gx when it's going to the 3d printer not all 3d printers are that using that file type blah 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 and there you'll see you'll notice my computer's a little bit more choppy because all the lines here are actually contain something you can also see up here it'll take 15 hours and 45 minutes and the estimated material is 125 meters of what we call filament so that's the plastic that we use Remember we were talking about hexagons before? There they are, that's the fill. So it knows you're not gonna see that. Um, it doesn't wanna just fill the whole thing or it'll use a lot more time and material. So it fills it. You can choose between triangle, hexagon, whatever you want. Um, and then you can see it in this program, which is pretty good. So I've already saved this. What I would do is plug a USB into my computer, put the file on there, put it into the, to the 3D printer make sure that it, everything's set up so there's filament in it, in it and it's calibrated and everything and then I just basically print that 15 hours 45 minutes later I should get a, pair, a set of stairs. Um, that's a lot of material though. One way you can cut down on material is just by doing what we call a shell. So if you go up here 
you can see this one here is a shell um, faces to remove this face and that's basically it um, we can save a lot of material like that you might even get rid of the bottom bit if you wanted to but just for my instance I'm going to leave it on and once you're done click the tick the only other thing left to do um, is create a drawing so I like to use custom template millimeters and don't include the title block okay now yeah, we're just waiting for it to load round and round in circles all right so here it's going to ask me what do I want we've only got one part at stairs so it's relatively straightforward with this one click on the stairs orientation front if you're doing viscom there is a particular format that you do this with um, for the first drawing I'm not that fast I just want you to see what we can do here for the next drawing we'll work on that a little bit more so if you just chuck um, this bit down here what you'll notice is when we drew our stairs that if I go whoops, to the front the front isn't really the front it's actually the bottom and the right hand side is actually the front so we didn't really look at that um, well I didn't really look at that before I started drawing so it's something to take note of in future um, episodes so we're going to go that looks like it's looking at the back this thing will automatically give it what we call a projected view you can see this highlighted up here and you see if we go up here it's looking at a different side and um, pick this one here and a different side again it's loading a little bit it's a lot easier than drawing it by your hand though all right and I also might want to put an isometric drawing in so view orientation click here I'm going isometric um, I might just go one to three and I'm just gonna put it here so I'm gonna wait for it to load and you can see because I haven't drawn it with the views that it's it's not looking right it has told us automatically that the scale is different um, but if I click here you can sometimes save it whoops by doing something like this I'm not sure if I will be able to uh, 180 does that fix it no we can press that too if I was playing around with it for long enough I probably could save it but um, I think that's gonna have to be good enough <laughs> um, but yes so you can see that it's relatively straightforward to create a drawing the only thing I need to do now is dimension it so I go up here to this little button dimension click there click there and put any dimensions in that I think that I need to put in so click here um, you don't usually dimension isometrics they're just there so you can sort of see the thing together um, just to make it easier and I mean you could dimension angles too if you really wanted to but there's not really an angle here to worry about it's all 90 degrees all right so once you've done that all you need to do is share it with me come up here click share and basically put my name in um, sorry all you need to do is can view put my name in and share it with me um, and all I need to be able to do is comment that's fine all right, until next time, I can't wait to see your stairs.